From the MSG Madison Square Garden, New York, we have the pleasure to have Abril Mati. Thanks for you know coming over here and of course you know having you know it's gonna be your fight over here in the U.S. How do you feel about it? You know being in the first time in New York. Uh, I'm so excited. I mean, I've been to New York many times. I love this city. It's one of my favorite cities in the world, actually. But I haven't had the opportunity to fight here yet. So, I mean, Madison Square Garden, it's the dream, isn't it? I'm super excited. Isn't it that this is the, the dream come true for every female fighter and not only that, for most likely all the boxers? How do you feel about, you know, the the card that you know women's boxing is coming stronger and also when it comes to women's boxing what do you think about women's boxing of this era actually right amazing. now amazing um, I love that more and more women are getting opportunities from promoters and I think a big part of that as well is that the women are willing to take big and good fights against good opponents so the fights are really exciting and it's just an incredible time for women's boxing because we're able to be on a big stage and prove what we're made of and make really exciting fights and that's what people want to see exactly I mean when it comes to women's boxing I know there is no run of the study isn't it you could tell me about it Sorry, I, I said. I said when it comes to women's boxing fights, there is no run of study because it's like two minutes something, and there is no time to study the run or like when you oh. when it comes to. Right. I mean, it's definitely a different pace. It's more of a sprint than a you know. Uh, but yeah, you don't you don't have as much time to analyze. But I mean, in a championship fight like the one I'm going to be fighting in, we still get ten rounds, which is great. So um, the more the more the better for me. Um, I'm excited. It's my first ten rounder, uh, so I think I'm going to thrive. Of course, you know when it comes to fights like like women's, I know it's always explosive, exciting, and and intriguing because you don't know what's going to come. What, outcome is gonna come um, one thing that you know I love to ask this question to everyone you know with all the respect to you such a beautiful lady but how does it what was it for you to to enter in the sport of boxing I mean you could you, with all the respect to you you could choose modeling and things like that shoes clothes but to put a gloves on it and, and say I want to fight I want to be a fighter what makes you to become a fighter I mean I did both for a long time I still do both yeah um, right. I'm more focused on boxing now, but at first when I started boxing, it was just for fitness, for something fun to do, and I just I like to challenge myself. So the next stage was to jump in the ring and have a fight, and then I was addicted. And for many years, I was modeling and boxing, fighting at the same time. And uh, I never really saw it as something that clashed, and it never really mm. did happen to clash. Like there were nights that I'd have like a fashion show like one night and then a fight the next night, and wow. or like sometimes the other way around. And I was like, damn, better not get any bad black eyes today. And you know, uh, that was back in the amateurs, so you have the headgear. It's generally you not yeah. getting too much damage. But um, yeah, I mean, I don't see it as like a stopping point, like. It doesn't matter what you look like. Like if you learn to move your head, and I mean, you're gonna get hit. It's boxing, you know. Sure. But there's um, different styles that you can have. There's a style where you can come in and take a lot of punishment. And there's also a style where you can kind of like stay back and not get hit so much. Like look at Floyd Mayweather. I don't think he's ever had a bruise in his life. Oh wow! <laughs> not that I'm Floyd Mayweather, when, but you know. No, what I'm when saying, we talk like, about Mayweather, you know, his technique is perfect. I mean, he. He's an elite fighter, and what can I say? I mean, oh, yeah. incredible. it's incredible. We can learn from him and many other fighters. So when it comes to many fighters, what do you think about the era of Canelo Alvarez? I think it's really important what he's done because he's showing that it's important to take good fights and not be scared to take losses, which is something that... Um, uh, why I feel that UFC really took over boxing in popularity for a long time and maybe even still now because in the UFC they have one governing body that says you will fight you, you will fight you and you will fight you. There's no ducking and weaving, like picking, you know, picking the right fights to make sure you always get wins and I understand why boxers do that too because as soon as you have a loss it's like you're done, your career's over, like that's the general kind of consensus and um, it's a shame because there's a lot of boxers out there with a lot of talent that could be making really exciting fights with each other, but they're just too scared to take a loss. And I think one thing that Canelo did really well is, even though he, you know he's taken losses in his career, and he's not scared to take losses, and he's he's willing to take the big fights and make those fights happen. And he proves that even if you have a loss, like you're still a star and you're still an 
an exciting fighter and against the next person you'll have a win and it'll be really exciting you know so I think he's been important for the sport of boxing to sort of change that attitude surrounding wanting to take big fights. Great. Are you expecting in the future to see Canelo versus Benavides or any other competitor that will be you know right there in front of Canelo? Um, yeah I mean I don't uh, know what his plans are. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> it's like me, you know, I want to see, you know, the good fights. It doesn't matter if it comes Benavides, Charlo, or other names that you could be right there in, in, in the rank of Canelo and of course, you know, on the way division that probably Canelo will, will prefer to fight because I know he goes to super middleweight and we've seen that he fought uh, Bibol and, you know, he took, he took the loss and of you know, of course, you know, respect to both men, and, and I think it, it was a great fight. It was a great match, so yeah. hopefully we see the rematch in the future. I mean, the, there's a I don't, I don't think we need to see a rematch for that fight. I think um, Bivol is an incredible fighter, and I actually knew Bivol was an bigger incredible than fighter. Stronger. And he's bigger and stronger, but even if they were the same weight, I think, like, maybe it still goes the same way. I don't know. I, do, I just think stylistically, Bivol is incredible. Um, but Canelo at 168 like and 160 the competition in those weight divisions there is uh, you know a lot he's better there like he's more dominant yeah well MSG closing to February 4 a message that you would like to add it to this interview to the fight fans and any ma any name that you would like to mention you know before you know we wrap it up with this interview I know there there's, there are names like they help you to to prepare yourself for this type of fight. Could you give us a message for all the fight fans, please? Yeah, um, I mean, I have an incredible team. Um, my coach, Javier, my manager, Peter Khan, um, getting me these kind of opportunities and getting me ready for these kind of opportunities. I'm really excited to put on a show for everybody. Um, I hope you guys can make it to Madison Square Garden on Saturday night, but if not, tune into The Zone and uh, we're gonna put on a performance for you all. Oh yeah, definitely. We're gonna, you know, stay tuned. The sun in your career, and of course, you know, enjoy the whole show. Of, you know, women's boxing that brings over here at MSG February 4th. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. With us, Brill Mati. Thanks for you know giving me the pleasure and honor to interview yourself. Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate.